Hi, Chanel here from Tips and Tricks HQ with another short tutorial demonstrating how simple it is to create a PayPal account. In this video, I'll show you the basic setup of a personal PayPal account. Although please note, upgrading to a business account once you've set the basics is a walk in the park. If you're a little skeptical about creating an account, note that the setup will only take approximately five minutes, plus signing up is free. Over 225 million users in 200 countries Choose PayPal to handle their online transactions, making it the most popular payment processor. Before you follow along to create your own account, do a quick check to make sure that PayPal offers its services in the country in which you live. While PayPal is supported in the majority of countries, there are still a few in which the service is not available. If you do find yourself in one of those countries, Stripe may work out better for you. To complete the full setup, you'll need to link your account to a bank card that you can start sending money to family, friends, or even your employees. You'll also need to have a valid email that you can access, be able to provide your first and last name, along with your address and phone number. So be sure to have this information handy as you follow along. You'll also need to create a strong password for your account and come up with two unique security questions. But we'll take a look at these a little further into the tutorial. So first things first, you'll need to jump online and go to www.paypal.com or simply just type PayPal into Google. Once you're on PayPal's site, in the top right hand corner, you'll see a sign up button to create an account. Click this button. On the next page, choose to create a personal account unless you intend on making this strictly an account for your business. It's here that we'll complete the first step of the sign up process. So I'll click on the sign up now. We'll need to choose the country in which we live from the drop down, state our full name, our email, and create a strong password. Note that your password, note that your password must be at least eight characters long and the password is case sensitive. So I'll go ahead and I'll fill in those details now. So I've gone ahead and I've entered in all my details for the PayPal sign up. I've chosen my country, my first name, middle name, last name. I've entered in my email address and I've created a strong password. I've chosen for this computer to remember my login details. So I'll choose the next button to proceed to the next step of the sign up. The next step involves entering our date of birth and our address, as well as our mobile number. So I'll now go ahead and I'll fill in those details. I've filled in those fields about the mobile number, address and date of birth. So I'll now need to read PayPal's user agreement and privacy statement and choose if I would like to receive marketing communications from PayPal. If I want to, I'll just mark this checkbox but I'll leave that unmarked for now. So if I agree, I'll click the agree and create an account button. So I'll go ahead and do that now. That brings us to our next step where we'll need to verify that we're the real account owner and we'll need to link a bank account. So I'll click the send money, try it now to take me to the next step. It's here that I'll need to link in my credit card to complete the next step of the PayPal sign up process. If you don't have a credit card or a card that you'd like to link to your PayPal account, you can link your bank account instead. So you just do this by clicking the link a bank account instead button. So I'll do that now. This brings you to a different page where you'll need to enter in your bank account BSB, account number and bank name, and then click the link bank account button. Once you've entered in your bank account details, PayPal will send two small deposits of a couple of cents each to your bank account, which you'll then need to confirm. This proves that you are the real bank account holder. Once you've confirmed your bank account or your credit card, you'll need to quickly jump onto your email account that you link to the PayPal. PayPal will send you an email to confirm your address. So just click the confirm email address and you'll need to enter in your password and click the confirm email button. My email address has been confirmed and I can confirm my phone number at the same time, although I'll show you how to do that in the next step. Once you've linked a bank account or a credit card to your PayPal account, 
the account setup is complete. I have not linked a bank account or a card as of yet, but I'm still able to access my PayPal dashboard. This means I just won't be able to send any money to my family friends or make online purchases until I've linked my bank account or my credit card. Furthermore, I won't be able to send or receive any money until I've confirmed my mobile number. So I can do this by clicking the confirm your mobile number button then they'll send me a text with a unique code that I'll need to enter correctly. So that will confirm my number. After I've linked my bank account and I've confirmed my mobile number, I've successfully completed a basic setup of my PayPal account. I mentioned earlier that you need to create some security questions to further protect your account. So you'll need to click on the TOG button and then on security and you'll see the section security questions. You can choose two security questions and that will further protect your PayPal account. So you can do that by clicking the create button. So that concludes my tutorial on the five minute setup of a PayPal account. As you can see, it's quite simple and easy to do.